Hi, it's Candy from Mosaic Moments. Today I want to show you a page I created using the die circle center frame set. Um, and this is actually three dies. It's kind of hard to tell from the picture, but you get one large die. Flip this over so you can see it. One large die, and then you get two of the smaller dies, which is great because you can cut twice as fast. I want to show you a page I did. This is my cousin Layla, and she is just the cutest thing ever but I wanted to show you the circles that I did. So one, I used the large frame here to make a really pretty frame for her beautiful face. I did it again up here, and then I just added a few stickers um, just to kind of make it fun. And then I also used the smaller one here. And what I did, I just cut out the center circle. I didn't fill in those little outside parts because I wanted a little more of the green, and the green was underneath, and as I tell everybody when I teach them mosaics, the only rule is that you have to cover up all those grid lines. So since the die outside covered up the grid lines, I was okay with leaving those little openings, which saved me time and a little paper, but um, most importantly, it added a little bit of extra green to my page rather than adding some more orange or something in there. I wanted a little more green. So I'm gonna show you how I did these. So let's get started. We're gonna grab our Big Shot. We're gonna grab some colored papers and because we have two of these little dies we can cut at the same time. So I'm going to put one up here with the orange and then I'm going to take the other one and I'm going to put it down here a little bit with the blue. And then we're going to put the lid on top and we're going to crank it through. Okay, So now we're left with these two cut out dies. Grid paper, this is the same green this is the emerald green that I used to make the page. It's a great for Christmas color, but it's also a nice primary green. And what we're gonna do is just punch out the little pieces here. And so I'm gonna use blue as the border. And now we have this really tiny, thin little thing to glue. So I wanna show you my favorite tool to use for gluing. Um, you could certainly use a glue pen, but I wanna show you how you can use the Xyron. These, um, little machines come in a bunch of different sizes, bunch of different colors and patterns, but they all work the same way. It's basically like adding machine tape down here, if you remember adding machine tape. So you're gonna take the square, we're gonna put it right side up, just how we want it to look on our page, and we're gonna stick it in there, and we're just gonna pull this tape at the bottom, just enough so that we don't see it anymore. Now we're gonna take the center out of our orange one, because we wanna use just the center there, we're gonna stick that through and pull it again from the bottom right through just like that. Now if we were cutting out a third color, we could also do these little pieces here and run those through too, which makes it really easy. Now all you do, um, depending on the model of the machine you have, this one you need to rub and it tells you right on it, rub and peel. So all you do is rub along the edges. What that's doing is the tape is picking up the sticky from underneath so that when we pull it off, the sticky is only underneath our die cut and not under, not on top of it. So then we're gonna peel off this little cellophane piece, throw that away, and now these come off like little stickers. And sometimes you get little um, extra pieces in there. You can just use your finger and wipe them and they come right off. Or when you're all done, you can use an adhesive eraser and they come off super easily like that too. So now we're gonna take it and we're gonna line it up on our grid line. And if you wanted, because that covers the grid lines, you could leave it just like that. But I want a little more color, so I'm gonna add just the circle to the inside, like that. And this could be a tiny photo, it could be another color, it could be patterned, whatever you want. And by repeating that, several times. We can do all of our different page accents. We can create a beautiful little ocean inspired page. Thanks for watching.